7 Days 7 Sheet Mask on Combination Dry and Oily, Sensitive and Dehydrated Skin. Hope you're ready, let's go. So first off, I started with the Misha and We Bear Bears Urban Nude collaboration. I got it in the hydrating version with Ice Bear and this retails for $2.50 and contains green tea to calm redness. Honestly, the only reason why I got this was because of We Bear Bears, like I'm a total fan. But in terms of the sheet mask itself, because I do think they have this in like a regular green tea version, the fragrance was really, really strong. The fit was pretty good and the texture Packing this wasn't bad, but I wouldn't use it again because it honestly just didn't impress me. Next up, I used the Apu Icing Sweet Bar in the watermelon flavor. This costs two dollars and it's supposed to contain watermelon extract to basically really moisturize your skin. In terms of fragrance, it's like a very, very strong, soapy, watermelony candy smell. I didn't really enjoy it at all. And the fit was pretty bad for me. It has like really tiny eye holes that the essence would just seep into my eyeballs with. It didn't really hydrate my skin, so I would definitely not purchase again. Next up, I used the My Beauty Diary Black Pearl Sheet Mask, which costs about one to two dollars and contains black pearl and red algae to help moisturize your skin. I actually really liked this mask because the fragrance for one was really not that bad, like it wasn't overwhelming and the fit was really good. In terms of tackiness, the essence for the sheet mask soaks in really quickly and overall, I think this is like a pretty nice mask. I personally would recommend it for people with normal to oily skin because as someone who has, um, who's on Accutane right now, my skin is combo dry usually and I didn't feel like it moisturized as much as I hoped it would, but it does give you a nice glass skin effect if you guys are looking for that. Next up, I used the Dr. Merida Hyaluronic Acid Moisture Essence Facial Mask, which also costs about $1 to $2, and it contains hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. I picked this up in Sasa in Hong Kong because the lady there said it was really good. In terms of fragrance, it has barely any, which I really enjoy, even though fragrance is on its ingredient list, and the fit was pretty good. In terms of tackiness, it wasn't tacky at all, but my skin felt so hydrated, so I honestly this was one of my favorite masks of this week. Next up, I used the Dewy Tree Pick and Quick Calming Mask. It's like a huge box of like baby wipes, I guess, but they're sheet masks and it costs $23 for the entire box. I hate it this one and I totally regret buying this. I thought it was going to be good but it definitely wasn't my favorite. Uh, the fragrance smells like, you know, like those blowing bubbles you would use when you were a kid. Not great and it's not very tacky but it almost felt soapy on the skin so I definitely would not repurchase this at all. Next up, I used a Dr. Merida Moisturizing Essence Facial Mask, which also costs $1 to $2, and its star ingredients contain hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. I couldn't really tell the difference between these two at first because the ingredient list looks so similar, but this one has a fragrance that's slightly floral, but it's not overwhelming. And the fit for this one was pretty decent. In terms of tackiness, it soaked in pretty quickly, but overall, I didn't feel as like impressed with this mask for some reason. Like my skin just didn't feel as hydrated as the other Dr. Merida mask. And lastly, I used the Sasa Tinny Ultimate Hydra Amino Mask. I picked this up also in Sasa in Hong Kong with my friends. It retails for about $3, so it's pretty pricey, but I think there's a lot of specials usually at Sasa for their products, um, so you could definitely get it for cheaper. In terms of fragrance, this was so full of perfume. I absolutely hated that. Um, and also, the mask quality didn't feel as good. Like, it didn't feel like all of the other masks I used this week. And in terms of fit, it's 
pretty small it may not fit a lot of faces and also when I took it off this sheet mask was so tacky my skin didn't actually feel moisturized but it looked like it was very moisturized This is a shot of my before and after. If you guys have any recommendations or products that you want me to try, just comment down below. I also have another video that I made a few months ago for people who have oily and acne prone skin because I hadn't started Accutane at that time. I'll have it linked down below and also in the card up above. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye!